and we're here at the ID Tech X show. And hi. Hi, my name is Dave Hoy uh, from Dupont. I'm the business um, marketing development leader. And um, what is this? Yes, so uh, this is uh, our Intexa brand. Uh, it's a wearable electronics. So if you look at the tag, uh, this is our brand Intexa. Uh, what we're seeing here now is our wearable technology. Uh, with Dupont, um, we supply um, electro sensors. So this is to track, um, monitor, monitor and track uh, the heart rate. Uh, and also uh, underneath, uh, we have a commercial product, uh, both are commercial products. Uh, this is a yoga bra. Um, again, this is a smart um, garment. Uh, Intexa is a sensor technology. All the way around. How far does it go? Uh, it goes to, there this are side. two sensors over here. And there. Yeah. And that's what uh, helps for, to this works for the baby or for the, for the mother? Yeah, this one is for the mother. Uh, for, uh, this is more fitness oriented and it tracks the breathing rate as well as the uh, heart rate. So it's kind of like a fitness. partially a baby tracker too. It's uh, not just a mother tracker. This is, a, this is for the uh, fitness portion. Uh, Intexa Health uh, is here. So this is our partner company, uh, Outlet. Uh, they've won the CES Award uh, 2019 uh, Best Wearable uh, Award. What is this? Uh, this is to track the baby heartbeat. So uh, really, yes. So you can you can see uh, we have uh, many electrodes, and an example is uh, the pregnant lady will wear this um, in the evening uh, overnight, and the enabling technology again is an Intexa brand, uh, electro silver electro, uh, with a detachable. Um, um, this is a smart. Um, battery and the actual um, smart device. Can I see this? Uh, so this battery and what? Bluetooth stuff here, PCB? Correct. Yeah, so this is the electronic side and this can be washed. Uh, for the garment, it can be washed. Uh, so each of these little um, uh, connectors is one of the sensors going through. There's, there's a bunch. Yes, these and are the connector. Uh, so it has a Bluetooth that you can connect back to the, to the app. And so the, this is not just like prototypey kind of stuff. This it's, is a product. So it's all, a real mass all, three, product. all three already in mass production products. Yep. How good is this sensor? How how uh, reliable? Okay, is it? How does it uh, know which is the mother's heartbeat and the the baby's heartbeat? Yes, that's a very good question. So um, the most effective way to track. Uh, the fetal's uh, heartbeat is the sensor right here where the uh, baby sits. So the reason we have um, uh, team up with Outlet is they have a, a software system to look into a uh, different area uh, of the, um, the, the belly basically. And, um, and it's very different from um, different type of fitness uh, strip. I guess the position is important. And you with Dupont, right? Yes. Uh, you are. Are you the market leader for this kind of? Um, Correct. So I look this after stuff here. What's happening here? Are you the market leader in doing this patch and the stuff that goes through? Correct. The printed electronics that's happening here. Is it printed? It's fully printed, uh, screen printed, and um, we have Intexa uh, um, material that has the screen printed paste and dielectric, uh, as well as. Um, TPU film, uh, so the uh, encapsulation film, and then it gets laminated to a stretchable fabric, and that's a. It's kind of a beautiful piece of art, also. It's like interesting how all these. Why do you go like zigzags here? Yes, What's so we point? call we call this a meander, and that enables a better stretching ability instead of a straight line stretching. So the stuff in the middle. Me, maybe stretches less than the stuff at the edge. Correct. So uh, we, it contours, and and that's um, that's a design to to help um, solve the elasticity. Is it waterproof? Yes, it's washable. Like thousand times washable, or hundred times? Yes. Or? So uh, fifty to a hundred times. Uh, we have a lot of data to suggest. Uh, obviously, different 
uh, different customer, different uh, manufacturer will have different uh, stacking and different protocol. DuPont is a really awesome company doing lots of cool stuff, right? Uh, what, yes. what are you showing right here? So right here, uh, we're looking more to the in more electronics. Uh, so basically, uh, if you think about a, um, a 2D screen printing technology and then thermal form into a 3D shape, so the throughput is high because we're printing 2D and then we're able to create different type of um, stretching elongation so the conductive ink and dielectric ink can be stretched to a 3D form and then we do injection molding to give the structure with a single connector to plug in so the assembly time will be very fast. This is also stuff that's mesh produced? Correct, so on the left here we have a heated headlamp so the pro um, these uh, ele uh, heating elements are screen printed uh, 2D and then thermal form to a 3D and then get injection molded. This is a heated headlamp. The problem we're solving is the LED headlamp. The LED itself hasn't got the radiator heat. So all the heats um, drive to the heat sink at the back. When there's a snowstorm in the evening, the LED headlamp get covered with ice and um, a thick piece of ice. And the radiator, um, so the lack of radiator heat uh, prevents it f uh, for the ice to clear. So we're de-icing basically. De-icing. De-icing, and also defog as well. So when moisture gets in, uh, we have the ability to dry the um, the lens itself. Um, so how big quantities is all this stuff? Pardon? How, the, how big are the quantities? So right now this is aftermarket, it's commercial available. So it's not very, very big quantities? Right, uh, we see this as an enabling technology, uh, we're pioneering um, and uh, we're, working, we're working closely with um, our partners to, to bring this to even uh, larger scale. All right. Uh, what is this going on here? Yep, right here uh, is Tactile Tech Made, uh, our, using our DuPont in more electronic material. This is an overhead console. Um, so on the right hand side, this is an X-ray version without the graphic. And on the left hand side, this is with graphics. Um, again, this is a capacitive, capacitive touch switch, um, overhead console. Uh, notice on here, there's um, a hidden uh, button. When we press on, it activates it. So when we tune the lighting, it enables a slider. So this is all capacitive touch switch. And on the right hand side, you can see our DuPont material as a conductive traces and have LED. Uh, so this is a modern way, weight saving. And also um, it gives a, it gives a, a very easy assembly uh, and weight saving as well. Uh, right now, we're we're at the early stage, uh, qualifying uh, at um, different uh, stages. Yep. Cool. Thank you. And you have a bunch of more stuff over there. Yes. I'll pass on to my colleague. Let me check right here. How does it go? Where'd you put it? Yeah, just right there. Right in the middle. Yeah. So, so hi. Hi. So I'm Kerry Adams. I'm the market segment manager for printed electronics for DuPont Advanced Materials. Um, and today, Dave's already spoken to you about some of our materials for smart clothing technology and also for in-mold electronics. But I wanted to show you just some new stuff that we've done regarding our new branded Intexar materials for Intexar Health, and this is for health-related applications. So, all is health here? So this, this stuff here on the bottom, up to here, is to do with our new range of materials for Intexar Health. And what we've done here is used the stretchable, conformable qualities of the ink and substrate system, as you can see there, to make into health patches. Now, these health patches are for wireless monitoring of vital signs, and it could be in a post-operative situation, or it could be in a, a home environment where you're monitoring and sending signals. And it will transmit the data directly to the doctors who could monitor your condition. So this can be used in emergency rooms, it can be used in home environments, and 
the prototypes we're making are really illustrating the technology of the stretchable, conformable electronics, and we, we make those materials. We also make a range of silicon skin adhesives to make them comfortable, breathable, and conformable on the skin. So it's a complete range of DuPont materials so here. This is after the operation? Right. Um, monitoring of what part? Okay, so you fix it to your around here. So monitoring like heartbeat and stuff like that? Or it, it, monitor, stuff? it monitors ECG, it mo monitors bioimpedance, which gives you the rate of respiration. And this particular model also measures oxygen content as well. So it's got an SpO2 sensor on it as well. And it's all done wirelessly. It's shipping. Excuse me? Is it shipping, mass production? No, this is prototype. Prototype. How yep. soon is it mass production? Why so, is it not yet mass production? So these, at the moment, are still... You, you, you'll see ECG patches when you go to the doctors. You'll have ECG patches put on you, but they'll all be wired to an instrument. Okay, so ECG patches using um, electrodes is already commercial, but these wireless ones are not commercial yet. Okay, so the, all the major health companies are looking at this technology. There would be a challenge in getting a nice little battery that lasts long enough and everything. Yeah, that's no problem for this type of thing. The little button battery yeah. operate for seven days. That would be the sort of duration you'd be looking at it. Different one? It's the same model. This one's just a slightly newer one. All right. So. It should be everywhere, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, watch which this. of these devices right here is the most most popular, most mass produced right now? So at the moment, the ones we've already shown you for the wearables devices yeah. there. So where you have smart fitness shirts, you have the pregnancy monitoring belts. These are commercial products. The next stage yeah. is entering the health market. And of course, with the, re with the regulations and the amount of qualification period you need, this will be a, a, a year or two yet. And what is all this stuff up here? So on the top shelf here, you can see this illustrates the broad portfolio of materials that DuPont Advanced Materials make. So we make a wide variety of inks and pastes for a lot of different applications. And they can be different metallurgies, it can be gold, it can be silver, it can be platinum, copper, dielectric inks. And they're used in all different applications. The ones you've just passed by there, there's for these are used for biomedical electrodes. And so these are used in the mass market already for things like blood glucose testing, okay, this sort of thing. Big quantities. Oh, well, billions. Billions, shipping already? Absolutely, and have done for many, many years. So that's an example of what that sort of test strip might look like. But this is probably one of the biggest applications for printed electronics commercially today. And DuPont has always been the leading edge and this kind of stuff? DuPont has really driven the Invented industry. this? Pretty much. DuPont has been making printed electronics materials since the 1930s. And uh, we had our first silver inks in the 1930s, our first screen printing inks in the 1940s. And the technology has evolved and our materials have advanced in such a way that we've almost driven the industry. And so the advances in materials are allowing much more complex applications to be accessed. What were you doing in the 30s and 40s? What was it used for? So the very first application using a screen printed silver was making a ceramic uh, PZT actuator disc. And this was made for certain sensing applications. Sensors yeah. in 1930s? Yep, 1930s and 1940s. That went into... All, all different applications, but the, the, certainly the technology started on ceramic and then moved to flexible electronics afterwards. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what's the second row right here? Which Again, it's, here a mix, it's a mixture of materials. So we're going from the left here. We make DuPont Capton inks. Now, Capton is known for its high temperature sta stability and physical durability. And we've turned the Capton brand into an ink, which means you can print silver inks containing a Capton binder, and they will have operating temperatures up to 300 Celsius. Capton. It Cap sounds like something from a Superman movie. So Capton is a polyamide. So it's a brand name for our polyamide materials, originally in film form and now in ink form also. And here is uh, a set of materials that are used on low temperature substrates. Yep. This one? And so you yep. can print on PVC or polyolefins. Here are some 3D printed materials. So this is true 3D printing, incorporating a uh, DuPont dispensable silver that will power the electrodes and the uh, chip inside the, the USB stick. Here again, you have a sensor platform, which is on stretchable, conformable substrates. You can stretch it. It's got an RFID antenna and uh, you can mount various sensor electrodes and chips on it. 
to give you the functionality you need. This was developed in conjunction with the Hulse Centre, a printed electronics institute who we partner with. They're cool guys, right? The Hulse Centre. They're pretty innovative and they know their stuff, yeah, that's right. Um, so. But uh, it's, it's nice if it's possible to see all this stuff uh, into billions and billions of devices. Like when you do this, sure. it goes in billions of devices. Yeah. Ha all this stuff is also some ready of the, for billions? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of this stuff is commercial. Some of the ones you see here are ceramic-based circuits and LTCC-based circuits. These are used very in commercial applications across many different markets, including military, including automotive, all sorts of different commercial this applications. One? This is a new um, concept. It's a flexible LED array. So it's, a, it's an LED lighting array on a polyester substrate and it enables you to print large area LED lighting on flexible substrates. So it's a, it's a new application area for us. And uh, so how's, how's it been with you at the ID Tech X show? It's been uh, several years, right? I think it's a great been, place to get network? Yeah, pretty much. We've been coming to this show pretty much from the beginning. Um, it's a great forum for people to learn about new technologies and to learn about new materials. So yeah, we have a we have a good time here and uh, uh, we get a lot of new contacts from this type of show.